Hey everybody, Black Bear Brad here for BearReport.com. Today we're going to take a quick look at Google Now on the Black Bear Priv. Uh, Google Now is a couple of different things. There's kind of two sides to Google Now. So Google Now, the first side is the search portion of Google Now, and the other side of it is the information up to keep up to date concept of Google Now. So first. Everyone likes to go to Google to look things up. Uh, I know Google is my main search provider. Uh, I know there's others out there, Yahoo and stuff like that, but Google is my main search provider. Uh, maybe it's a force of habit. Maybe it's just not knowing of anything else out there that to, you know works as well. But uh, So with, with the Android operating system, Google now allows you to search for things in different ways. First thing is by text input, the other input or the other way is by uh, search with voice. So right here is your Google search bar. Uh, that comes pre-reloaded right on your uh, BlackBerry Priv when you first lo load up the device. If you choose to get rid of it, you can do so as well. But I'm gonna tap in here, and it's gonna bring up a Google search area. So I can search with a keyboard, or I can also t search with my voice. So there's a couple different ways I can search my voice. I can hit the microphone up here, What's the weather like outside? It's 47 degrees and clear in Berlin. So it gives me the weather information. Uh, it's giving me everything from the temperature right down to the five day forecast. And I can also see the different time frames for the hour. And what it's gonna be like the rest of the night, which is nice. Or if I want to with the Google search bar, I could say, okay, Google, what is the temperature outside right now. It's 47 degrees in New Britain right now. Again, brought up the, the temperature um, for it. Um, the other way I can do it is by hitting the microphone right from the, the search bar. Who won the Eagles game last night? The Eagles lost to the Dolphins 20-19. And then it brought up the score for the game, and it also brought up a video recap if I wanted to watch it. So it's great for people who, you know, they missed the game if they want to catch it real quick without, you know, being at home. Uh, there's another way to do it, and it's pretty much using the, for the term OK Google. And that phrase is going to pretty much be the signal for the device to start searching from any screen on your device. Now, that's not automatically turned on from, from the start of your device. You actually have to go into the uh, Google settings. And then you have to find search and now, which is right there. And then go into voice. And then the OK Google detection. I have it turned on for from any screen. So once you flip that switch, it's going to ask you to pretty much go through the setup process. I'm going to go through the setup process with you just to kind of show you what it's like. Um, I'm going to hit retrain voice. And it's pretty much going to have me say the word OK Google from any screen. Um, so what it's going to do is have me say that three times. And that's pretty much make, letting the device get recognized with my voice. So I'm going to hit get started. OK Google. OK Google. OK Google. Once it's finished, it's going to say finish at the bottom. Hit that. Now, from any screen on the device, I can say the word, OK, Google, who won the Patriots game last night? The Patriots beat the Giants 27 to 26. And again, gave me the score, gave me the video recap. Say I'm on this screen. OK, Google, what's 15 times 15? The answer is 225. Now, what's great about the math problems that it does for you, it gives you the answer and gives you the calculator right there. Most times when you ask a math problem, you're trying to figure out multiple different math problems. So it's going to give you a calculator so you can quickly calculate the next math problem if you wanted to. Uh, I can do it right from this screen, too. Uh, let me think of a question. Okay, Google. What is the size of the Earth? Earth has a radius of 3,959 miles. And if I want to, if I'm on the app screen, okay, Google, what's BlackBerry stock looking like? BlackBerry 
BlackBerry closed up 4.23% today at $7.52. Now, the great thing about Google Now, with the search, you can do different functions on your device as well. Okay, Google. Turn off my Bluetooth. Turning off Bluetooth. So right from there, it turned off my Bluetooth settings without me having to do anything on my device. Okay, Google. Turn on my Bluetooth. Turning on Bluetooth. So turn my Bluetooth right back on. Okay, Google. Turn off Wi-Fi. Turning off Wi-Fi. Okay, Google. Turn off Wi-Fi. Oops. Turning off Wi-Fi. Let's try that again. I did say the word off. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Turn on Wi-Fi. Turning on Wi-Fi. There you go. So that allows you to do different functions on your device. One of my favorite features with um, Google and Google Now. Okay, Google. Navigate to Lincoln Financial Field. I love using this this fu function for voice uh, navigation. Uh, allows me to pretty much navigate to somewhere if I am need directions or need to know how to get somewhere, uh, and I just want to use my voice. I don't want to fumble around. If I'm driving, I don't want to you know be using my device too much and being distracted. So I can use my voice just to to pretty much bring up my GPS and start my navigation. So excuse me, that's the first side Head of Southwest. Oh. It's still thinking I want to navigate. So let me turn it off real quick. You are on the fastest route and your route is clear. You should reach your destination, but... Turn off all... Get out of all these cards. And clear all. So, the other side of Google now is pretty much the information gathering side of it. Now, it's not gathering you know, personal information or anything like that, but it's pretty much learning you and your daily activities and stuff like that. Uh, and pretty much learning to, to better assist you, uh, which is a great concept for Google Now. So uh, again, I'm gonna go through some of the stuff that, so first thing, it realizes I am a Eagles fan. So it shows me my the Eagles score from yesterday. Uh, unfortunately, they lost to the Dolphins as we saw earlier. And it's also gonna give me a video game recap again. And it's also going to give me uh, NFL previews for, for Patriots and Eagles um, for things. Also, it realizes I'm a Sixers fan, and it's going to give me the score for the Sixers that's going on right now. Um, it's going to show me the score of the game, and it's also going to show me the score for each quarter. If I scroll down even more, it's going to give me again another Sixers score from yesterday. News about the Sixers. Uh, it's going to give me news about the Flyers and the the Kings game. Now what you're looking at right now is what they call cards on Google Now. So these are different cards of information that are important to me or that Google thinks that's important to me, which is, you know, it pretty much learns me throughout my activities on my phone. If I start looking up things on the Eagles, uh, it's going to say, hey, you know what? He's an Eagles fan. If I start, you know, where I'm traveling to places, it's realizing, hey, he's staying in this place um, for the amount of time. So he's going to pretty much commute there, which means the weather is going to be important to him. Um, BlackBerry stock, Verizon stock, Apple stock. It realizes that I'm looking at this stuff on a uh, everyday basis, and it's going to give me that information without me even having to look it up. Um, more information about sports, information on uh, Bruce Springsteen. It realizes, hey, I listen to Bruce Springsteen. I, I search for Bruce Springsteen a lot. Um, T-Mobile and BlackBerry, stuff like that. Xbox One and all that stuff. So Google Now is information-based. The other cool thing is if I pull down from... Um, the top here, it allowed me to see another card. So as we said earlier, the, the, the Sixers were playing, or are playing, uh, and it's showing me right here in my notification tray. So it allows me to see, hey, right from here that the Sixers are actually playing, and I can actually click into that, and it'll pull up that Sixers game. So that's Google Now on the BlackBerry Priv. Um, great feature on Android OS that is now available to you on the BlackBerry Priv if you have a Priv available to you. Um, Stay tuned for BarryPro.com for more great information on the BlackBerry Priv. BlackBerry Brad, out. Don't forget to check out the BarryPro.com Cafe Press Store, where you can find t-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, 
laptop bags, bumper stickers, and much more to share your BearCore.com pride. Most orders are shipped within 24 hours of being placed, and pricing is great. Don't forget to go to CafePress.com slash BearCore.